After the retirement of Jim Brown in 1966, Leroy Kelly finally got his chance to shine. Over the next seven seasons, Kelly led Cleveland in rushing and was the focal point of the Browns' offense. During his era, no back exploded from a stance or hit the hole faster than Kelly. He possessed the agility to fake out would-be tacklers and the power to blast through defenders at the goal line. And Kelly retired with over 7,000 career rushing yards. You would think that there was no way anybody other than Jim Brown could play running back for the Browns after Jim Brown was gone. No shot. No shot. How could you replace Jim Brown? But Leroy Kelly was remarkable. For two years, the only ball carrying Kelly did for Cleveland was returning kicks. Then, Jim Brown retired. Leroy took his place and became a star. So Jim Brown walks away to work on a dirty dozen, and Leroy Kelly comes in there, and you talk about a no-win situation. Look at his numbers after replacing Jim Brown. After taking over as Cleveland's featured back in 1966, Kelly led the NFL in rushing twice and retired with over 12,000 career all-purpose yards. But Leroy Kelly was this very, very versatile back. He was a great runner, a punt returner, kick returner. He wasn't the same power runner, but he could put his foot in the ground and cut. You're finally you, you, you're zooming in on him. As who? He's cutting back. He had great balance. And the sloppier the conditions were, the better a player he was. Not only was he successful, but he was a popular player. Brown was not a popular player because of his personality. So here comes Leroy Kelly, and all of a sudden the fans embraced him. The rest of the National Football League liked him. The rest of the fans liked him. They don't have to play against Jim Brown anymore. Kelly becomes a Hall of Fame player. I don't know how much better he could follow an act. Automatically was good once he started because he still had the Cleveland offensive line that Jim Brown had. He was a power runner. He learned under Brown, so he just jumped on the scene. If you wanted to create a scenario to arguably replace the greatest player who ever played, and it was Leroy Kelly, I don't think he could have done a better job than he did. So if you're replacing Jim Brown, well then it should be number one, right? No. No, I think he's, I think that's good. I think that's good. I think a guy that followed Jim Brown and now sits beside him in Canton, Ohio, that's filling the shoes pretty well.